Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 9 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. In the last episode it was huge, sorry if it was too long, I know some people actually told me they like it but still, uh, yeah I know it could be too long but it was just one of those things where I played two FA Cup games because it was a draw and yeah I just wanted to finish it. Unfortunately, we lost, but it was good. It was good experience. We had some good wins. Unfortunately, we lost in injury time, but like I said, it was just one of those things. We got experience against a team in one league above us, and that's really good for a team that just expected to become mid-table this season. Like Media prediction, 11th, and we're currently sitting 8th. So we're kind of around those expectations, but we do have a game in hand to at least every team in the promotion places, which is good which is good because we can get that win back, get back in the, yeah, um, for the playoff. Because if you look absolute 13 games, even Sutton, who played two more games and we're just four points below them. So, uh, yeah, it's not, it's definitely not doom and gloom, but we have to win. Havant has to be a win. Well, not has to be. A, they're a good team. They're a good team, but it's a good chance to get a win. That's what I mean. So, yeah, hopefully we can push on. What's our finances? Yeah. 24k well it was 30 something k negative last time so it's good so those wins did help that fa cup it's not really a good run i suppose for a club of this level it's okay but then fa trophy fa trophy is against teams of this level so i think we have a chance of winning it get some more money and yeah we'll move on from that but uh yeah as i said havant where are they sitting uh, they've played the extra game than us and six points ahead so it is a crucial game is a crucial game, and this is what I've got to test myself against. If I do get in those promotion places, uh, or in the playoff places, sorry, I'm going to have to play against a team like Havant here. So I've got to test myself against them. Uh, but there is going to be situations like here when I'm not going to... When my players' condition are not good, that's when we have to test ourselves, if we're going to be good enough or not. So yeah, this is it. Got our centre-backs. We don't have too many other centre-backs. we got Priest and Galinar, so... Uh, yeah, Rollo, who's a bit older, forced to play him. Ball's probably one of the better players, not just in his position, in the league, uh, in his position as well, but still, like, he's really, really good, really good attributes, so he's going to grow. There's a lot of players I want to give new contracts to as well, but then I've got to weigh it up with, like, players I'm going to sign who will be better, so uh, this team, um, yeah, they're playing a 4-5-1 formation. Surprised they really score a lot with that, but... We'll see. They're favourites playing away and easily favourites as well. So here we'll see how we go. We'll see how we uh, go up against them. Another really good team in the league. So let's see. We've got Noah Keese who scored this season. Adelsbury who scored six from a central midfield position. So he's good. Uh, Anthony Jack who's assisted a lot. So at our best, we are a good team. We are a good team. But that's what I mean. Like uh, With this team, it's not like a crucial thing to get promoted in the first season. And it's really hard. It's really hard with only one auto promotion. Come on. Can we score this? Keats puts it in. Dangerous. Oh! Who's that? Priest. He comes up with, you know, at the start of the season, I think he got a red card early, then I disciplined him, find him two weeks of wages, and he comes up now. Uh, him and Galinar are really proving as a good partnership at the back, even though Galinar is only a natural right back. He's doing well. The partnership... He's good uh, for most games. Come on, Jack. Can he assist again? He's got a lot of assists this season, as you saw. Yeah, the pressure is good. The pressure's on early. Oh, Gal Let's see. He comes up and makes the interception. Really good. He's done well. Rollo plays it for Stern. Uh, but we give it away here. Make sure we don't concede. Got to make sure we don't concede. Come on. We're getting to that stage now where we're pretty much conceding every single game. Um, this guy, he seems a good player. I saw him last time. He scored a couple goals for them. But yeah, um, that's where you get at this level as well, though. It's like you're always going to concede. Not always, but more often than not, you're going to concede goals because players aren't great. So you have to go out and attack. And now this guy who scored, he injured one of my players. So he's definitely making an impact for a couple reasons. Uh, what are we going to do here? Assertive. I'm far from pleased. Um, Dan Ball, who's a young player, I'll just say there's no pressure on him. It's not good when your players lose confidence because that's when they can make errors and stuff. But as I said before, he's one of the better players in our team. So it's hard to say because he's a younger player. We need to step up and win this. 
it's hard. It's it's hard. You can really tell the difference of clubs. We're not that. We're not promotion. We'll. It depends. Yeah, it just depends on the kind of signings I make. I can't see myself getting promoted this season. It's just the way it goes. I can't see myself getting promoted. Cause yeah, like I said, in the when it gets to that promotion um, playoff stage. Sorry, I forgot that for a second. Yeah, when it gets to that playoff stage, it. We're going to play against a team like this, and it's going to be really hard if we don't make any more signings. So bring on Andy Watkins. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah, this guy hasn't actually played yet, but he scored decent, a decent amount of goals in the chats he's got in the under-21s. So stop him, bring Keats back. Even Keats, like, he's not playing well. Lamar Powell's going to have to come on for Stern, and might as well make the third with Josh Lowe for Rollo. And try. We can still win, of course. Like I said, at this level, you can win most games. Not well. I don't know. I have no idea why I said that. Um, you can come back. That's what I mean. Like goals can be scored quickly because of the bad defending and stuff, and errors players can make. So it's not over. Uh, we've been having a decent amount of possession, so that's a good chance. Oh, come on, yeah. No, it's done now. Of course, we get that scripted injury uh, when yeah you make three subs. But it's just something that happens. I had to go for the win. So, like, yeah, what can I do? And it would probably be... Ooh, a good tackle, though. Now it will. Yeah, yeah, now it will. Um, This just shows me. It, cho yeah, it shows me the difference in clubs. If we don't make signings, we're not going to be able to get promoted this season. And I'm not going to make new signings yet, anyway. I'm just going to play through this season... I'm not going to get relegated, definitely, unless we like lose so many games in a row. Um, it was good to have a good start to the season. But, yeah, you can see the quality difference. Might as well just go overload for the lols. We're not going to win anyway. Or Watkins. Oh, what a hit. That was a good goal. That was a really good goal for a player at this level. Good strike. And you go overload, that's one reason in case I score. Look at that, from outside the box. That was a good goal. So he's going to uh, put himself for selection in the next games. Oh, could we win it late? Or not win it, sorry, uh, pick up a point. Nah, nah, it was never going to happen. Just a pointless highlight. I've no idea why the game added these po pointless highlights you get. It gives you a hope of scoring when you won't. It's really frustrating. Exactly what I mean. I say aggressive. I'm far from pleased because that was a crucial game. That's where we could have stepped up, and that's where we dropped back. This is probably where we're going to be dropped back into a mid-table position now. Because it's always hard to go on runs of winning. Unfortunately, uh, we slammed the team, and now Jack getting injured. I don't want to, but I can clearly see this is going to be a stage where we drop with the next, well, at least in the league, the next two aways. Uh, Borham Wood is next. Is going to be a tough game. Mm, yeah, it's going to be tough. See, we could pick up a signing like this, like a Simon, but it's not like I can't see him making a difference. That's what I mean. Like, he's not a superstar. And if I go to approach the sign, he'd want 450 per week, and we only have 240 available. And I want that for re signing, re signing players. So maybe we do need a team meeting. We started good. I'll say assertively, um, yeah, we can do a lot better. Why did they get a bad reaction? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, I need it. What do I say here? I guess I misjudged it. Oh, they got it back. Okay, I saved it. Don't worry, I saved it. Uh, misjudged situation. I got the players somehow. I was scared. I was going to say something, but I won't. But, um, yeah, anyway, let's just move on here. Uh, defensive positioning away. I have to work on defense away and hopefully get that goal. Uh, where are we? Bar face the impossible. We need Wilson back. He's a crucial goal scorer. Uh, ball. He says um, he's going to be influence on the left wing. That's what I wanted him to do. So, yeah, this it needs to be a win, but it's going to be hard. But the 18th, this should be a team where we should be beating, really, on our form this season. But we've been on bad form in the last month or so. But 
Uh, Joe Burnell is going to come back in. Con- this is where um, Allen's going to come back in. Con- I don't know. Connolly's been crap for me. Um, Pratt will come back in. Wilson, can he get some like under 21 games or something? Why not? I'm just going to put it there anyway. Just say like 90 minutes. Um, Keats. Oh, yeah, I'll play Watkins. He deserves a start, doesn't he? Keats is not going to play. Uh, bring on Aaron Brown. And yeah, all those other players, they're not fit enough. And you can see our squad is pretty small, isn't it? But what can I do? Uh, Josh Lowe, you can really see uh, him and Rollo. I'm just rotating them right back, but I'm not sure if that's a good thing to do. But there's, I don't have any other options. And look, condition, I need more players, but we don't really have the funds to. Uh, come on, Watkins, let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do. I'm giving him the chance. He's got a good composure that led him to scoring. He's got decent penalty taking as well. But is he in the penalty takers? That's the thing. Penalty takers, Watkins. Ah, oh, he's first, and he hasn't even played yet. So he's our best penalty. T- but you know, it's hard to say Keats is one more, but he's got some other good attributes. Oh, no. We're not we're not favorites at all to win this. I've got to try something different in a team talk. I'll just say calm and... Um, they'll just tell them, go out there and impress me. I'll see what they can do. We'll see if we can get up with a win. Because a win can boost your confidence and put you in a good mind frame, I guess, and good morale for future games. And it could uh, put you in a run of winning, really. So let's see how we go. Ball puts a ball in. And here we go, Allen. Low. Adelsbury again. Oh! We couldn't score there. It was Stern who could have applied the finish. And of course, I want to be in good form for the FA Trophy, try and uh, go on a run in that. Uh, I can tell we're dropping. Like I do have that backup tactic, a different tactic as well, but we did really well with this tactic early on, so it's obviously decent. At least, I'm not sure if it's a superstar tactic, but for this level, we'll see We'll see how it goes. Ball wins a header. It just errors my team I'm making. Um, that's through player quality. Come on. Oh, look at his dribbling ability. But he can't shoot. Oh, it was a corner. Okay. Might not be as bad as I thought. Then Alan put it in. Uh, low. Oh, and this is also another thing. Uh, people talk about uh, when I lose or something, people say I complain. But it's really hard to get the balance right with not complaining. I'm just getting realistic reactions. I'm just disappointed when I lose. Like People say I complain about the game, but I'm not complaining. I'm just like, I get frustrated. And you're the same. You're the same. Like if I did the record, like if I recorded them, I wouldn't complain as much back as people would think. It's complaining. It's just my live reactions to the game. It's not complain. It's just my reaction. I'm not like insulting the game or something. It's just like my initial reactions uh, to the game, and you can't help that. You would be the same. You get frustrated when you lose. It's just football manager. Um, assertive. I'll say you've been unlucky so far. Okay, that wasn't a good reaction. Who cares? But. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's not. I'm not trying to complain. That's what I mean. I'm not trying to complain about the game. It's just my live reactions. People get live reactions. People throw chairs and break them, and somehow people think that's entertaining and not complaining, which is beyond me, but um, I won't talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, oh, they score a wonder goal like that. See, there's not much I can do. There's not much I can do. That was just, yeah, like, being a manager in the game, there's not much I can do. It's not like FIFA can control my players, can I? Just need to have the confidence in my players and my tactics to turn it around and training during the week. Here's a chance, Watkins. He's got two in two. He's got two in two. So that's a good comeback. That's what we need. That's the impact. I've got to have, like I said just a second ago, I have to have the faith in the way I'm playing and that our players are going to come up and do a job for me. And I'm not sure if this is a thing at a lower level, at least in England. Players are going to have breaks, like, because they're part-timers. Maybe sometimes a guy is not going to be available to play or something, because, yeah, maybe he's not up to it or whatever, because he has another job, because he has to, he's only a part-timer. So then another guy might come up when he's available to play. I'm not sure if that's how it works or not, because I'm not really involved with that kind of uh, setup, but still, like, um, yeah, I'm wondering if that's a kind of thing as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of ins and outs uh, in a team. Like if a player needs a break of playing for whatever reason, uh, they're going to have to go and look for another guy. So that might be a situation as well. Definitely different to a, 
a higher level of football. Okay, here we'll see what happens. Then we'll make a sub. I should have made it earlier. I should have made it earlier. I knew it. I was just distracted by talking. Like if I wasn't uh, talking, I would have done. I would have made a sub earlier, and that resulted to the goal. But anyway, um, we'll move on. So this is where who I don't have anyone to bring on. Lamar. Lamar Powell. Then I'll drop Allen back there. Powell can't. Can Watkins play? Look at that. I can't. Uh, can Stern? He can little. I'll say I'm forced to playing that. We're not going to win this. Uh, Rolo, just again rotating with that low guy. Um, I'll take ball off. He's had a bad game. He's, so things are actually dropping now, and we're probably dropping to a realistic position, if I'm being honest, a mid-table position, uh, where we're expected to be. Uh, come on. Yeah, and as I said, I don't want to see it as me complaining, but it's just my live reactions to the game, and that's that's all I can say. And, yeah... And I'll just say people complain way more than me for reasons I've already mentioned. Uh, but yeah, I think it's very limited by myself, especially as I don't really swear often as well. That's another not another aspect to that. Uh, people, There's people who complain as much as me, and look at that. Uh, we get a goal back. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that I just wasn't expecting that. I thought we were going to lose this for sure because of the condition problems. But this level, um, players aren't great. So that's a like if this was a higher level when we had this bad fitness, it would be really low. So picking up a point here is not it's not that bad actually. No, nah, there's no, no late chance, but yeah, I'm happy to get that late goal. It was good. It was good to get that late goal. Uh, really surprising as well, uh, to get it. It was good uh, for Stern to score as well. Um, I'll say I'm happy. Yeah, that's better. Get that good reaction back, and. Yeah, look at it now. Look at it now. Like, it's two wins away from being in those promotion places. So it's going to be hard, uh, no doubt. I'm going to give it my best chance. So, um, yeah, as I said, I hopefully enjoyed it. Because I did notice people in some episodes, people said I complain when I lose or something. But like I said, it's just my live reactions. And it's not as extreme as some people. But anyway, hopefully you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time.